Alrighty, so today what we are going to do is we are going to do a little versus video between the Makita uh, brushed impact driver 12 volt against the Milwaukee brushed 12 volt impact driver. Now both of these brands have a brushless version of the 12 volt impact driver, but this video is, a, is brushed against brushed. Now uh, I only have a 1.5 amp hour battery for the Makita. So we're only gonna use a 1.5 amp hour battery for the Milwaukee. So both of these are very, very subcompact impacts. And we are gonna see which one prevails on doing some Timberlock screws. And we're gonna see how far one of these can drive a four and a half inch lag screw. For the Makita, the mount number is DT03. Uh, variable trigger only, zero to 2600 uh, RPMs and zero to 3,500 impacts per minute. Now that's actually a lot for a 12 volt. I only have a 1.5 amp hour battery, so we are gonna see on how well this does. All right, and so the Milwaukee, this is model number uh, 2462-20, 12 volt system, uh, variable speed trigger only, battery is full. And unfortunately for the Makita, uh, Makita there is no fuel gauge. Goes to zero to 2,500 RPMs and 0 to 3,300 impacts per minute. Now that is 200 uh, impacts per minute less and it is 100 RPMs uh, less than the Makita. So we are going to do a little versus video against these two and see which ones prevails. And like I said before, both of these brands have a brushless version of this. This is just brushed against brushed. All right, so ready, go. Time. It was able to do it. All right, so we're gonna do one for Milwaukee. Is the collet push in? No, it's not, you have to adjust it to get it in. Fantastic. So ready? Go. That's where it actually stops. Batteries at two, that might go up a little bit more soon. Another one, do it right here. All right, so ready, go. Time, time, time. All right, let's do one for Makita. Let's go right next to it. All right, so ready, go. Time. It's a battery at battery, still at three bars for the Milwaukee and the Makita does not have a fuel gauge, unfortunately. Alrighty, we'll do uh, we'll do one right here. All right, so ready, go. Right, so let's do one for Makita right here. So ready, go.
let's put this somewhere else. Right there. We're using the same battery. This is at three bars, so this has got to be at three bars as well. Uh, we're going to use the same battery, and we're going to take three out at once. Uh, I'm going to go to the next one as fast as possible. All right, so ready, go. Nope, just smells like a working motor. No burning whatsoever. Fantastic. Those are good results. So, Milwaukee has three bars. It is time for Milwaukee's turn. Take three out at a time. Ready? Go. We're going to give this one a little time. Let's see if it's capable of uh, knocking it loose. Nope. Just going to ruin the tool. All right, let's see if uh, Makita can take that out. Ready? Go. Alright, so we are going to do one test each when it comes to driving in a four and a half inch lag. I got a fresh battery for the uh, Milwaukee, four bars, and we, I got a fresh battery for the Makita. Sorry, no fuel gauge. So we are going to use the Makita uh, half inch to a quarter inch hex adapter. Alright, so ready? Go. That's it. It did it. It did it. Battery is at two bars. That'll probably go up to three. Let's do a quick temperature reading of this. 83 degrees. 83. Not bad. It, it did it. It did it. Now, let's see if it can take it out. I'll be surprised if it can. 
Batteries at two bars. It should be easier to take it out, but we'll see what, if it can do it. All right, so ready? Go. time it did it battery still at two bars temperature reading 88 degrees alrighty so it is time for Makita to step up to the plate and see what it can do no Milwaukee was able to do it so let's see if Makita can we're gonna go around around the same area all right so ready go Wow. Uh, yeah, Makita kicked Milwaukee's butt when it comes to driving in that lag. 70 degrees, 71 at the uh, hottest point. All right, so let's take this out. Let's see what this can do. All right, so ready, go. Yep. Uh, sorry, Milwaukee fans. Uh, Makita kicked kicked butt on that test. Alrighty. So when it comes to this test, I know people are gonna say, "Well, the M12 system has much more powerful batteries than a 1.5. That has a three amp. It has a two amp hour, three amp hour, four amp hour, and a six amp hour." I, I know it does, but so does uh, Makita. They have a four amp hour. Uh, 12 volt battery, but uh, but this test was for the 1.5 amp hour batteries. So the Milwaukee did it, but it was struggling big time uh, to, to drive it in there when Makita did it with ease. So that does not mean that this M12 is a bad tool. It's still a good tool, especially if you're a part of the 12 volts, uh, the M12 system. And so, yeah, uh, this was just a little comparative video for the 1.5 amp hour battery against the Milwaukee and Makita. So, the results are there. I'm sorry if you don't like them, but that's pretty much it. So, please uh, subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. So, this is David Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.